Hi all, welcome back to the channel. So after a little hiatus, I am back and today we'll be visiting the Ivy Asia in Mayfair. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on notifications and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as you can see today, we are driving down uh, we're just looking at the Natural History Museum there in front of me. And now we are approaching Knightsbridge. So as you can see in front of me, the iconic Harrods building, and you can see it's been dressed up with lights. And this was during Christmas time. And as we go ahead, I'll take a quick look at the lighting, which was designed by Dior for 2022 Christmas. So, as we get in closer, we can have a little look. So there we go, we can see the lights there. Um, you can see that it says Christian Dior at the top as well. Yeah, looks uh, absolutely lovely. So if you do plan to visit London at some point, just feel free to drop me a message in the comment section below if you're looking for places to visit or places to eat and um, I'll get back to you. So there we can see Nusret, Mr. Salt Bay, been getting a lot of slack recently um, due to his antics. But um, yeah, drop a message in the comment section below just to let me know what you thought of his antics during the World Cup. So just to the left of me, you can see the Winter Wonderland event and it looks very busy there. So we're almost there, we're just looking for a parking spot now. So we're just driving past the restaurant now, here we go, that's the Ivy Asia there. And we've managed to find some parking now, so we're just going to make our way into the restaurant. So here we can see the front of the restaurant. It looks really nice. And let's go inside. We're greeted by a statue there and the staff are really nice. So we're just in this bar area at the moment just waiting to go to our table and the waiting area and the decor here is absolutely top-notch um, it's really really nice in here it's well known actually for for its decor and the the flooring as always I'll leave all links to the menu in the description so we just had a look at the drinks menu and we've ordered ourselves some drinks so as you can see there, the waitress is making our drinks while we just wait for our table. So the drinks we have here are two normal virgin mojitos and one strawberry virgin mojito. So we've been called to our table. As you can see, the lovely floral um, corridor here and the green floor that I mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, the decor in here is absolutely top notch. And here we can see the look of the lit up floor. So just to let you know, this place is no longer halal anymore. It used to be, so unfortunately, we've had to make do with the current menu. So here we can see the popcorn shrimp, 
and that was really tasty and I would recommend it. Here we can see the prawn tempura and that was very nice. So in front of me you can see the tuna sushi and here we can see the salmon sushi. So here we can see the spicy peanut chicken with coconut and spring onion lime and that was the only halal dish on the menu. Here we can see the sesame crushed prawn dumplings and again these were really nice, very tasty. So here we can see the chili noodles with glazed Japanese mushrooms. We can also see the kimchi fried rice and we can also see the king prawn with spring onion, kaffir lime and coriander. Okay, so it's time for some desserts. So here we can see the warm passion fruit and coconut donuts with yogurt dripping sauce. And below that you can see the samurai. And I must say the samurai, amazing, 10 out of 10. The yogurt donuts, probably more of a 7 out of 10 for me. So, bit of an odd one. You can see there's a statue there standing at the urinals. It did creep me out initially. And as you walk in, he does say konnichiwa to you. So, uh, yeah, interesting. So that's lunch done. Um, and we're going to make our way towards Oxford Street now and towards Selfridges. Here we can see the Christmas lights there and they look absolutely lovely. So we're just making our way towards Bond Street now. So here we are, just making our way to the entrance of Selfridges. And just a quick stop at the Dior shop for quick purchase and then off to the sweet section to get the kids some sweets. And let's take a look at what the kids have bought. So we've got an assortment of goodies there and we're just going to buy this and then make our way home. So just in front of me and to the left you can see the Makato food hall which I've heard a lot about but not had a chance to visit yet. Okay guys so we're just going to make our way home now. It has started raining and there is a lot of traffic. Um, I'm going to give the Ivy Asia a quick score and I'm rating them an 8 out of 10. It was quite disappointing that they had changed their menu from a halal supplier to a non-halal supplier. Um, but in terms of the ambience decor and the food in general, it was really good. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and I'll see you in the next one.